Oh man, what's with all these happy puppies everywhere? I swear, this subreddit is just like made by animal shelters to make you want to buy a pet. Hello everybody, welcome back to MK. My name is Jack and it's time to exercise your cheekbones because we're gonna look at some made me smile. But before we get started, I wanna give a shout out to you, Trash Dude Ed, over on our subreddit. You have made this awesome fan art of us here at the MK channel and Wow, I love it. I love it. And the detail of the uh, blood from the wrist dripping down, that's it's a bit disturbing, but it's cool. It's cool. Moving on. When I was eight years old, I found a four leaf clover and gave it to my pop for good luck. When he died, I found out he always kept it in his wallet for 20 years. Ah, oh, come on. This has made me smile, not give me all the sad feels. That's still beautiful, though. He actually wrote on it as well. Marty, whatever happens, don't go to 2020. Imagine if they actually put this kind of story in that movie, though, like going to 2020 and all this happening. The conspiracy theorists would go insane. What aliens do on Earth and what humans do on Mars. Ah, of course. This entire time, aliens were sending us dick pics. This is just a picture of a laundry cat. And as someone who doesn't have pets, I want to pet it. Oh, this photo is just nostalgic to the tip, isn't it? If you have not seen The Princess Bride, please watch it. It is a classic. By far, best whimsical dialogue I've ever come across in a movie. Shout out to my Arabic teacher that looked at us yesterday mid-lesson and said, I'm worried. You all look exhausted and depressed. Of, we were all like, yeah, we're dead inside. You haven't noticed? <laughs> and he snapped shut the textbook, threw up his hands and said, that's not healthy. No more vacab. Time for dancing. And he taught us a dance from Iraq and we danced instead of doing vocab. We didn't stop dancing until he saw all of us laughing and was satisfied that we were all feeling better. It was perhaps the coolest, most kind-hearted thing I've ever seen a college instructor do. See, this is what teachers should have the freedom to do. In fact, you should have to be able to qualify to do this kind of thing to be a teacher. I mean, sure, you need to pass tests and show that you can actually learn what you're learning in the subject and stuff like that. But education is being run on the same structure since the industrial age. Students should be required to do an actual creative class that just lets them do stuff like this. Make it a blend of self-evaluation and self-expression. You don't get marked on how good you do it, you get marked on how good you feel for doing it. I don't know, I just recall back in my high school days. I had a German exchange student friend who found it amazing that us learning grade 10 maths B was the stuff he learned in grade 5 maths. I don't know how it is in the rest of the world, but Australia's education system is just... I'm ranting too much. <laughs> Back to the smiles. Me yesterday. Okay, Audrey, don't tell mommy we're getting her chocolates for tomorrow. Got it? Audrey, five years old. Got it. Mommy, we're not getting you chocolates for tomorrow. Winks at me, except she can't wink, so it's an awkward blink. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> this post almost makes me want to have kids. Oh, and speak of having kids, look at this baby. This is adorable until I remember what an ultrasound looks like of a toddler's jawline with all the teeth still growing. Ah, it's a, it's a bit of a nightmare. New Jersey balloon artist with all creates pieces for essential workers. Oh, that is awesome. Well, I bet that news article certainly inflated his day. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible pun. I put my son in private school and he was very sad because he had to leave his best friend Barrett. It's been three months since he has been in his new school and today the teacher said they have a new student. And guess who it is? Barrett! Barrett's back, baby! It doesn't look like much, but that tiny layer of hair is the first I've grown in years. I beat cancer. Well done. Honestly, that is amazing to see. A photographer took pictures of people before and after she called them beautiful. Oh, that is sweet. Last one looks a little suspicious though. What matters isn't if people are good or bad. What matters is if they're trying to be better today than they were yesterday. Shout out to The Good Place, best series ever. And I just loved Michael's character arc. This show seriously changed my perspective on so many things in life. Like I'm not religious at all, but God damn, if I don't have some sort of inkling towards this kind of like thing existing. <laughs> this is a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> Where did he get the sign? Oh no, I want to pet him even more. <laughs> this is a burb and this is a cute nest. And now I want to build some outside my house. And with an army of burbs, I shall defeat all the spiders that are around my damn house. My kid designed a birdhouse. Then we built it together from scraps. Damn, that is nice. You mind uh, making some more for a bird army? Come on, what's your Right. My mum always made me a birthday cake every year for 44 years. Two months since she died and my old dad tried his hardest and my heart melt. Oh, oh my God. I'm actually getting teary from this. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> nah, I'm fine. You're, that's just sweat because I'm working out so much with my blinking. <laughs> 
Look at your baby turtle. You're so cute. Yes, you are. You know, I only found out just the other day that their shells are actually just a bone, a part of their body. It's one of those things where, like, you didn't know it, but now that you know it, you're like, how the hell could I not have known it? He smushed the bubble. Oh, this is the cutest thing I've seen so far. <laughs> a floofy and a kitty. These two are insanely photogenic together. I mean, damn, kitty, save the smolder for the rest of us. Oh, I knew a friend who actually loved bunnies, but she couldn't have them in the state we lived in, so she ended up actually moving further south to Australia where you can keep bunnies, and I would not be surprised if there are three of these critters in her backyard right now. <laughs> California TV station films dog calmly playing with kids after cop shoots himself trying to kill it. Oh, I like this story because a cop was shot, but nobody will get in trouble for shooting the cop, and some children got to calmly play with a dog. Yeah, that turned out very well. Part of me hopes that police officer gets investigated, but part of me also thinks the police officer was reacting based off previous experiences, maybe? And in that state, clearly wasn't applying the logic he should have been. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Box Cat. <laughs> It, it blends too well. It's like it was grown with those square watermelons in Japan. <laughs> you know, I can never tell with these cats if they've got thick fur or they're just fat. Nothing wrong with a cute chubby kitty, but I've just never been able to tell. I'll be honest, I'm more appreciating the architecture of this cat's bed. It looks so snuggly. Yes, Rush Hour 3! I remember seeing this in the bloopers or deleted scenes. Oh, this just takes me back to when my sister and I we used to always go to the local DVD or video rental store and just watch these kind of movies every single night. She lives about two states south of me now. Man, I haven't seen her in like, gosh, probably two years? Aside from video calls? I should plan a trip down sometime. My son has been holding this chip for like 10 minutes. <laughs> He's probably just there wondering like, what are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna eat it? Am I holding this for you? Do you want me to have it? I don't want it, you have it. <laughs> and of course you call your pet son. Ireland helped raise $1.8 million for the Choctaw badly affected by COVID-19 as payback for a $150, wait, that's it? $150 donation by the Choctaw tribe in 1847 during the Irish potato famine. Okay, so I had to look this up because I have no idea who the Choctaw are. This is just a beautiful story. Like if you couldn't love Jack Jacksepticeye enough already. Okay, at first I thought this was just some inflatable Christmas thing, but then I noticed the Halloween stuff and then the birthday stuff too. Hey honey, which day do you want to celebrate today? Mm, yes. How do I use a coffee press? Do I have to grind the beans or just put them directly into the coffee press? How would I use the coffee press if I want my coffee to use milk instead of water? Sorry if these questions are really basic. I'm a 13 year old trying to make my mum feel special on her birthday. Don't you worry, I didn't know how the hell to use a coffee press either until I was like 18. Before then I just used instant coffee and <laughs> it just, it, it's not as good as normal coffee. In honor of Colonel Sanders' famous secret blend of 11 herbs and spices, KFC's Twitter account only follows all five Spice Girls and six different guys named Herb. When a Twitter user noticed this and pointed it out, KFC sent him a painting of himself holding a drumstick while riding piggyback on the colonel. <laughs> Oh, internet, I love thee. <laughs> the guy is clearly so proud too. It's just such a humble photo. And the colonel's wearing like joggers gear too. Whenever my parrot flips out and gets angry, I say, hey, in this soft, comforting voice and then talk to him gently. He calms down within seconds. I just got frustrated enough at something that I went, ah! My parrot said, hey! All softly and sweetly like a dozen times over the next minute. It made me feel better instantly. Oh! My parrot is better at conflict de-escalation than most people. I want a parrot. <laughs> I want a parrot now. Coral, there's nothing there. Coral, stop. Oh God, it can see me. That's actually really cute. I was worried it was gonna be a ghost for a second. Man who survived the Spanish flu, Great Depression, and World War II beats coronavirus on his 107th birthday. Mate, just change your name to Holy Grail already. God damn. Suffering a creative block? I love Ursula's advice to Kiki. Stop trying. Take long walks. Look at scenery. Doze off at noon. Don't even think about flying. And then pretty soon you'll be flying again. Oh, this is a beautiful kitty in a teacup. They've called this photo Dandy Dog and I think it's just an adorable name for a dog. I want to buy a dog and call it Dandy. Honestly, this is pure magic. Daniel Radcliffe reads Harry Potter to your kids and you for free. I agree, Jesus Christ, this is visible happiness. I am the darkness. Oh, you want cuddles? Okay, I give cuddles. But I am still the darkness. 
This dark kitty got the helmet and the bling to match. I'm gonna take it this is the alpha cat of the neighborhood. <laughs> My damn three-year-old grabbed the unsweetened cranberry juice from the fridge and asked for some. I reminded her that she historically doesn't like it and offered a juice she does like. After telling me that I am wrong and cranberry juice is her favorite, I gave up. This was not the hill to die on this early in the day. <laughs> So now my petty ass three-year-old is sitting on the couch gagging and making faces while saying, mmm, my favorite is delicious. <laughs> Glad to know petty is genetic. That is just so sweet. She's learning from the best man. I found a tiny denim jacket at Goodwill and I put it on my cat. Look, look at my cat. It's so stylish. He's so stupid and dirty and lazy. Aw. This is like my relationship. My girlfriend's the dog, but she doesn't need to know I said that. I'm lifeguarding and I just witnessed an eight-year-old girl tell this boy that they can't be together because he has a phone and she doesn't. He then threw his phone in the dive pool and said, nothing can keep me from you. Oh, that's really sweet, but also really dumb. No, it's made me smile. I, you gotta be positive. It's cute. Please do not disturb my plant. She needs two hours of sunlight a day and I live in a sunless apartment. I'll be back to collect her soon. Thank you and stay well. Oh, I hope no one did. This is just pure. Wow, this is something that lined up just right. The wolf and the sun rays? Damn, that is just awesome. This is a cute dog and a lovely grandma, but the dog's being really mean and poking his tongue at me. How dare you, sir? Dolphins have returned to Italy. Meanwhile, in Middle Earth... <laughs> wait, wait, is that an actual costume? I want one. Where, where do I get it? I want a tree costume. And the award for cutest door wedge in the world goes to this little guy. Don't worry, buddy. You just keep tugging for that carrot. It'll come out eventually. This soldier carried his service dog down a mountain because it was 117 degrees and the rocks were burning his feet. Yes, everyone definitely liked that. Always check the footpath in summer to make sure your dog isn't going to burn its feet. All right, boys. We got nap time in 1700 hours. Let's roll out. <laughs> Though the baby's expression slightly looks like he's running away from them. Are they, are they attacking him? <laughs> oh God. In 1960, David Latimer planted a garden inside of a bottle and sealed it shut. He opened the bottle and watered the plant in 1972 and sealed it for good. It has been the self-sustaining ecosystem for 60 years. Okay, when I read it, I thought the bottle was maybe the size of a like drinking bottle, not the size of a freaking whatever that thing is. Still, that's an amazing job. Elderly YouTuber writes his subscribers down down on a notebook, then thanks them individually. Carefully, he's a hero. Oh, that's nice. We should do the same on MK. It'd only take us like, what, five minutes? Fall displayed in one puddle. Now that is far too perfect of a transition for it to have happened naturally. Though even if it is fake, it still looks absolutely awesome. So props to you. When someone feeds me, <laughs> what, you, you get a little high and start rolling around on the grass? <laughs> Because, yeah, yeah, I do that too. It's hard to read what's on the photo, but this person's giving away all this stuff for free for anyone passing by who might need it during this current issue. And I can only hope that someone is actually donating money to her as she's doing this, because she deserves it. This is just beautiful. In memory of George, who gave his life on, uh, that street, 29th of April 2007, protecting children from two savage dogs. Oh, and that must be George there in the photo. Oh, that is sweet. There was actually an incident a while ago in my area where people wanted this person's dog to be put down because uh, it ended up killing one of their own. Later turns out that dog was protecting its owners who were taking it for a walk down the park before suddenly being attacked by these two other dogs who broke out of their fence with one of them eventually getting killed because the dog was defending its owners. And until then, everyone was defending the person with the two dogs because they thought they were in the right. But then this CCTV footage got released and oh my God, did everyone just change their minds? But uh, yeah, most dogs are awesome. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm trying to say, really. Hmm, <laughs> goats. They are adorable until they try and headbutt you in the nuts. I know from personal experience. How can I, 13 male, be a good uncle? What? My oldest sister is pregnant and I am really excited for her to have the baby, but how does one be a good uncle? I can barely take care of myself. Yesterday I made a grilled cheese and burnt it. So any tips on how to be a good uncle? <laughs> Mate, you're only 13. No one is expecting or requiring you to be that sort of responsible adult just yet. Work on your own self first. It's okay to be that kind of selfish at your age. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> <laughs> Meow, you're finally awake. Well, breakfast isn't going to serve itself, we know. The happiest photo you will see today on the internet. <laughs> yes, it is. And I reckon they're responsible for the mess on the floor in the background. <laughs> 
Okay, is this a hat or did the dog just rip itself through jeans to the point the owner was like, screw it, you can keep the jeans, you can <laughs> do whatever you want with it. When you eat a mint and drink a glass of cold water. Welcome to the Himalayas! Personally, I think it's more like the ninth circle of hell, but sure. Yes, a horse. I grew up riding horses, so I especially love this one. So they brought an ice cream truck to school and the ice cream man saw my hair and was like, ooh, I have something for you. And he gave me this. <laughs> How are you not smiling? You should be smiling. My new friend, Jarvis, 38, had never been on an airplane before, so I gave him my window seat. He was shaking with excitement the entire flight. One random act of kindness can make someone's day. Man, you forget how many things you go through day-to-day -day life that so many people have yet to experience. I was personally from a smaller town until I moved to a bigger city, and when I moved, there were so many times that... All my friends in the city were just like, man, that's normal. But to me, it was like a whole new world. Like, I found it astounding that there were ads on, like, buses and billboards for video games. Back where I grew up, that wasn't a thing. Like, I, I didn't know that they were considered popular enough. Jimmy has separation anxiety, so he holds on to you when you walk in the door. <sighs> Just heart skip to beat. Look at this little judgmental ass dog. Yeah, an owner doesn't choose this dog. This dog chooses an owner. <laughs> he just looks at you like, mm, you couldn't handle me. While competing in a marathon in Thailand, runner Kemjira Klong Sanun, I've butchered that, I apologize, found an abandoned puppy on the side of the road and ended up carrying it the remaining 19 miles to the finish line. She adopted it afterward. It, well, you better. Oh, if that isn't destiny to adopt for that dog, I don't know what is. Wow, you know, I've never noticed how human some cat's eyes can look when they're really dilated. Oh, look at the birthmark on the nose. It's so cute. A text from our landlords this morning. Assuming your income has dropped substantially, Blue, and I want to help you buy $0 rent for April and we'll see what the situation is in May. Oh, that's nice. This is actually really sweet because, well, landlords aren't exactly responsible for all this. But there are some that actually treat their renters like human beings, and that's just really sweet to see when they lend out a helping hand. People complained about a roaming cat near the law firm office, so the law firm hired him. Meet Leon Advogato Esquire. This is clearly a story about someone getting turned into a cat and having to be a lawyer still at the same time. It's a story just waiting to be told. Why hasn't Hollywood started already? I want lawyer cat. Ugh, again, the subreddit, it just, it's manipulating you into getting a pet, and it's... It's so nice. <laughs> well, guys, that does us for today with some smiley photos. Hope you had a good one, guys. If you liked the video, please give it a like, obviously. Uh, do subscribe, too, while you're here. Click that notification bell. Check some more videos out while you're on the channel. Remember all the positive thinking stuff you learned in the comics today. My name is Jack. It is a pleasure talking to you all. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.